Satin and Sutherland, The Golden Curse. A Treasure, a Murder, a Curse. The Dominion of Canada, 1879. When conman William Deuces Sutherland wins a cryptic map in a poker game, he's off to find a lost golden bonanza, and he's taking his friend, the beautiful and talented mechanician Satin New Brunswick, with him. Together with the surveyor, a nurse, two aeronauts, and the Northwest Mounted Police, the two must decipher the map, deal with crazed prospectors, survive acts of God, and, oh yes, escape the dread prairie whiskey pirates of Captain Rotgut and the infamous Rum Runner. And if that's not enough, the gold is rumored to be in the thrall of a curse. A curse that's already claimed more than one life. The stagecoach lurched. Satin nearly sprawled to the floor. The stage lurched again. Satin grabbed the overhead shelf to steady herself. The coach was really moving. It slewed about as its wheels hit bumps in the path. There were a few moments where it felt like they weren't touching the ground. What's happening? Will demanded. He clutched his seat, trying not to be thrown. Satin shook her head. She popped the window next to her and called to the driver. What's wrong? The driver had covered his face with a red bandana to protect against the grit and dirt kicked up by the horses. He had the team at a full gallop. Through his bandana, the driver shouted, Best hold on tight, miss. And if your young gentleman's got a gun, he'd better get it ready. Satin leaned farther from the window and glanced behind the coach. Her eyes widened at the sight chasing them. Satin eased into the stage and gently shut the window. What is it? Will asked. Satin, what did you see? Satin gestured with her hand, spreading them apart. Indian attack? Will guessed. Satin raised a hand. Bigger than an Indian attack. Satin licked her lips. She said, Pirate ship.